everybody. Tonya Reeves, Australia's Cowgirl Medium, coming at you from hometown here in Victoria. We are in regional Victoria, so we're currently in lockdown, but hopefully coming out of the really strict lockdown this afternoon. And look, it's looking like we will, but anyway, for the rest of Melbourne, there's still a lockdown happening. So no matter where you are in the world, we've you know, we're all faced with these challenging times right now. And it almost is a little bit like, um, I know for many just chatting to people, you know, clients over the last week, there's a lot of uncertainty and we're kind of feeling a little bit out of our depth to a degree. So if you're feeling that, understand you're not on your own and we are all going navigating some challenges at the moment. I do feel for many, we've been asked to take a deep breath and almost like have a little bit of a break or pull back as you feel that you need to. And with this message, I feel that it's around honouring your feelings and honouring the process you need to go through right at this very point in time. So for those that can or have now the luxury to be able to take a deep breath and just be in the moment, you know, please do that as much as the uncertainty can make us really, um, you know, struggle with that. I really feel like we've been called to whether it's, you know, taking some time out in nature or, you know, if you are restricted to being inside, then finding what that nature or connection, you know, inside your home can be and sometimes that's around pets or just anything that can give you that little bit of a sense of taking you off to another um, zone so another great way to do this is to get creative so if you are stuck inside or you're feeling really restricted grab you know whether it's a pen and paper or get yourself some paints Um, doesn't have to be anything elaborate but getting creative is a really powerful way to just sit in our sit in the present moment and not be distracted by external things. It's about just going within and, you know, expressing that, you know, whether it's whether it's a picture, whether it's words coming out. I just feel like we could all do with allowing flow right now. And for many of us to release what's ha- what's going on inside our head, because, you know, as humans, everything we've always got stuff going on inside our head, like let's face it. So to be able to, you know, let that go and, you know, if you are finding that you're struggling, just write it all down. You don't have to do anything with that. It's just a case of getting it from here down so that, you know, it's out of your head, you've written it down, you've let it go. And that can be as powerful as sharing your situation with others. You know, you may find you don't want to share where you're at or what you're currently feeling with anyone else but you need to get you know release it from yourself so write it down and you know it's also something that then we can look at and you know maybe get a better understanding of where we are at right now is if we if you put that down on paper you're kind of setting that um you know you're setting that example of uh where you're sitting with things right now so don't dismiss the power jotting things down and just getting out of your head. So I feel like it's a really uh, strong message for many at the moment. So if it resonates, just have a go or drawing, doing a bit of art, anything that gets that creative side of the brain working will tend to help you through what you need to right now. All right, that's my message this week. Okay, I'm going to go on to my reading. Angeline in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Angeline, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. How are you? Really good, thank you. Thanks for calling in. How exciting. Um, let me see. Yes. So I had, I felt like initially prior to coming on today, there was a mum in spirit, but almost like a, a, it's like a mother figure around you that's almost guiding you. And I feel like with the mum figure, there's something around you being mum as well. Yes, I'm a mom, but my mother is here. Um, my grandmother is in spirit. Yep. And is that on your mum's side? Because it's almost like mum was very important around her. And I feel like there's nurturing and mothering. So it's like she's bringing me to to you with the children, to her having, you know, that, that connection with children as well and it being important. So to me, she was a family person and that was important to her. Well, yes, that's true. 
Beautiful. Um, Because like she's strongly, it was almost like, you know, she was here before we got on. So I'm like, okay, Mike, I know where I'm going with this with this message today for my caller. It's like you're divinely, you know, protected with her being around, but also um, it's like she's stepping in because there's something going on with the family and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, but it's like she wants you to know that she's around and she kind of steps in that bit stronger when she knows that there's support is needed. And she was also showing me something around the East Coast. Um, I don't know where that fits in, but it was like um, I was drawn to go to the East Coast and I'm not sure geography in the USA, but you guys have got so many states over there that my geography is pretty poor. I have to put my hand up, but I don't know whether this is to do with um, traveling to the East Coast or I know at, with COVID at the moment, we're all a bit, you know, um, travels up in the air, but there was something I wanted to go to, to East um, in regards to you. Right. Well, I am on the East Coast. Okay. So are you, um, is there movement for you around, like, because I just feel like her, her taking me to that is like there's something more, not just the fact that you live there, but are you, um, are you moving not far away or where does that, I just feel like it fits somewhere more so than necessarily, yes, that's where you live. Um there's some sort of relevance to that or is somebody moving close to you in the family not that i'm aware of i i don't know Something yeah because it's like she's taken me to, <laughs> or, and and what about yourself so you're not because it's like i want to go to I'm, I'm moving closer to the coast but you know obviously if you're already east we you know just not that far away but just like she's bringing me that to my attention for some reason so it might not necessarily fit now but I feel like it's something that it's quite relevant with that and that's the reason that she's bringing it through um okay. I also want to want to go to um you see I also want to go to the name Michael or something around a Michael that's in connection with her as well which I feel you know sits with you too um there is something about change up is what she's showing me around you as well so something you're changing interesting um Something I'm changing. I'm I'm trying to think of. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know. I I I'm not really right, thinking so anything. Yeah, well, possibly not there right now. But there's something around change coming up for you. Then, if it's not there yet, so because it's like she's giving me these bits of information that sometimes they don't always fit right now. Um, but I do feel like there's something around changing things up a little bit that's going to be important for you moving forward. And there's aspects of what she's showing me is we've been either in the same place or doing the same thing for a while and there's just a little bit of a question about do I want to keep where I'm at or do I want to make some changes? And I feel like there's going to be some kind of change in direction where you question about, oh, what's our next step here? Because it's like there's, there's some something coming in around that so I do feel a bit like an opportunity where you kind of toss up are we staying here or are we not is what she's showing me so okay. maybe that's okay. not there yet but just it's like be open to that because I feel like there's a um it, it's a little bit of excitement around in that so there's something around an opportunity that's going to be 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 offered to you because it's like there needs to be is what she's showing me there needs to be a little bit of a change around things just being the same <laughs> or like doing the same thing. Okay. Well, I, I agree right? with that. Yeah. Cause it's like, I feel like for you, it's not a case of I'm just rolling the same way that I am. It's like, she's bringing that to you to go. There might be something that you'll go, Oh, I'm not sure about that. Or I'm a bit scared to do that, but it's like, you know, the, the timing of it will be, will be fine. And I just, it's just like, I want to open you up to that idea. Cause I feel like it's, something that's going to happen and not in the like not too far distance is what she's showing me so it's like you know and quite often spirit brings that through to say hey there's some changes coming just be open to it and rather than dismissing it or going how am I going to do that there might be another way of looking at it for you okay all right so it's and I want to say she's also showing me that um you're quite in tune as well so there's a big spiritual aspect to, uh, around you and it's like it's quite natural for you to be connecting in with the spirit and trusting your own inner guidance is quite that's strong. That's very true. That's very yeah, true, like, yeah. 
your talent. You've, you've, there's a talent there. So um, it's not like she's shown me you're doing that just yet, but I feel like there's something around stepping into that a little bit more as you go along as well. Yes, that, that, that would be true. Yeah, and it's like it, it, in that is what she's showing me is a little bit of excitement. So it's like you're going to be well supported with that and it's like don't fear stepping up into your power with it because it's like you were born to do this is what she's showing me. <laughs> and I feel like she's okay. handing me a rose. So I don't know whether roses were important around her or but I just feel like she's just yeah. handing it to me like it's relevant and she wants me to, to show you that to say, hey, I'm here, here's my sign. Well, that's that's it's what beautiful. I called her, Rosebud. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's so relevant then. Yay, I love it when they do that, bring that through. <laughs> um, and it's like, of course, she'd be supporting you in the spirit world. She's also showing me there's something around you had a question around, now, is this to do with the children or am I, because I feel like she's showing me a question mark around the children or you and children, um, I want to say. Uh, yes. Yes, there there was. I understand that. Yeah. So it's like, um, because I feel like she's got a little bit of a chuckle with that. Like, so I think there's a little bit of cheekiness in there. Like, um, or there's a question mark, and it's almost like you know the answer, and that's kind of what she's showing me. It's like go with your gut feeling on that. Okay, I kind of did do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, because it's like sometimes they come through like that. And she's just. She's just confirming to you. I don't know exactly what that's about because she's just saying, tell her this. So I'm like, okay, I trust that you get what she's saying. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> she's definitely strongly around you. And I also feel like I want to go to the youngest child um, with that she connects with. So whether that's a child that's with the, you know, just a heightened intuition a bit more than the others, but I do feel like there's, there's one there that she communicates with and possibly whether she might not have met them that still has that connection in the spirit world. Okay. Yeah, and she wants to say hi to mum and tell mum that things are all going to pan out well as well. I will definitely tell mum that. Thank you. Yes, yeah. I will. Yeah. Okay, because it's like that's really important. Now, I have run out of time. Thank you so much for calling in. It's been great to connect and really know that your grandmother, she's beautiful. She's like, couldn't not be around you. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your reading. Pleasure. You're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Angeline. Tanya Reeves, Australia's cowgirl medium, signing off today. Thank you so much for listening. Woo-hoo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>